you are live. Hi guys, Trotty Put Across, happy Friday. I'm painting a flamingo truck and I did get started on it so that I can do like more detailed work with the flamingos and actually be able to outline it. Um, and that's always hard to do when it's really um, wet and hasn't had time to dry properly. So I base coated the background of my like window in sea glass and then I actually chose flamingo for the truck and I'm going to use like soft pink and peony for my actual flamingos. And this makes me want to go, I've been thinking that I want to go to our zoo because they act like it's but like they've been doing some work and I haven't been to the zoo since probably, no, not probably. I have not been to the zoo since I was a child, like going on school trips. So basically some money. Any zoo? Anything. Wow. I went to an aquarium in high school. It was actually one of my favorite things to do is uh, even at the end of mm -hmm. all the college and stuff. Yeah. Me too. The we, one in New Orleans. I was actually a uh, Ottoman uh, Institute member. And I could go to all those places for free, the Children's Museum, the... Uh, I mean, Aquarium yeah, but did you live near there? An hour. Okay, yeah. We're, <laughs> we're like, what, six hours from there? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I would love to go to those days, but I just well, haven't. So y'all hit uh, me up. Monroe one? Yeah, and they've done a lot of work to it, so it's... Yeah. It's um, cute. I mean, I've gone quite a few times this year with Jackson and Abram and then with the school... Um, for the field trip, it they've done a lot. They have a blast. Y'all just call me, and I will be the third child. <laughs> Next time we go, we're calling Aunt Scarlett. <laughs> for sure. Because, I mean, I love stuff like that. I just, I don't know. It's not like I'm ever just like, hey, Corey, let's go to the zoo. Well, me and Dara had taken Abram and Jackson right after COVID. Right after. And mm -hmm. it was like a ghost town. Which is kind of awesome. Yeah, like I feel like they just redid the train thing. Mm -hmm. it's fine too. Uh, that takes you through the zoo, and don't they have a little boat? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I, I remember the boat. I probably have some pictures in a baby book. Y'all, it's been that long. The uh, the battery too is way nicer than it used to be. Too. It's, uh, and that's somewhere I should have been to because, like, my sister lives there, but we've never gone to see. There's one in Lafayette, too, that's nice. I forget the name of it. Uh, Kidiana or something. Is that what it is? Maybe so, yeah. I've been to that. Lafayette's not that far away. Let's go. It's, it's four hours. Is it four hours? Yeah. Where, Where am I thinking? You're thinking of. Alexandria or something? Yeah. Well, oh boy, a truck. The reason I think of the zoo is because of the flamingo. There's a place in the Bahamas too that you can go. Um, it has flamingos walking all over the resort, and I want to go. You do want to? Yeah. Flamingos, yeah. I mean, because of a lot of reasons. Too. Do you remember but that? Yeah. yeah. There's always peacocks. Yeah, I remember those. They're mean, though, right? They don't harm the well, what they mean? They're beautiful, but they're mean. Yeah, you don't touch them or nothing. Like, I don't know about me, but I wouldn't mess with them. I heard they were mean. Yeah, right. um, I don't know. Yeah, I don't really feel like I know much about those. Um, so, again... The flamingos are going to be soft pink and peony. I mean, the shrimp that they eat. What? Yeah, girl. We learned that in science class. Yeah. They mainly eat shrimp. They like come out. Don't they come out white? Yeah. Yeah, when they're first born. Oh my gosh, I just learned something today. And that's on um, Build Across Live with Carl and Billy <laughs> teaching you guys things. Fun fact. Well, what's the John 
Chris show last night, well, some of it, and he's a comedian, well, and he said that um, this, this child, they, they, the zoo had an attraction of a gorilla, and this gorilla was, like, amazing. It would come out every day, and it would do its, you know, its thing, and, and people would come all over just to see this gorilla. Did I talk about her, Ambe? I don't know. Okay. I just know that the baby, the, a kid got trapped in. Yeah, fell in. Yeah, And they shot in. the gorilla. And they shot the gorilla. And people are outraged. That's what he said. He was like, man, I hope this kid really grows up to do something spectacular because they shot the gorilla. <laughs> yes, people were outraged. That's Harambe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or Harambe, whatever. I'm not exactly sure how. Um, It's just an unfortunate situation all around. Yeah. I mean, what can you do? Like, you got to protect the kids. You do. You do. You really do. So many mistakes there. A kid shouldn't have been able to fall in. She really did. Thanks, guys. What do they have to do to win? Can you know, win? just like, share, and comment. Everyone can be a winner Ooh. if you follow the rules because we go live. Um, five days a week and do a giveaway every single day. That's why you'll see the same people um, winning consistently, and that is because they are following the rules, liking, sharing, and commenting. And please make sure you share. That's not necessarily the most important, but definitely one of the most important because then it puts it in all your friends' timelines. Um, so that just helps us get our name out there. It's one reason why we do these lives. What are they winning today? They will run this unfinished um, because I believe this one will go to Canton. Nice. Billy Tara has gotten two pigs. Have you heard? Two pigs. She got two pigs. Oh, yeah. Two. She got two more. Two more. Two more. Why? A black one and a pink one. We don't know that. I thought she was gonna get one, but I didn't know about two. Potentially, she's lost her on Charlotte and Ruby. So she has names? Abram. It's Ruby. But Abram's Thank wrong. Really I like the little pink stuff. No, that's what I'm not saying. I wish they didn't have little things in there. That's her nickname? <laughs> we can't stand the little. <laughs> uh, I wonder if the new ones have that. There's a pink one. Did you say she got a black one, Abram? She, yeah, she's that one that looks like Nash. Nash. No, she took that one back. It. She got a black one and a pink one. I'll have to show you. She sent us a picture. The pink one? How many pink ones did she Just get? one pink one and then one black one. He's solid black like Triton. No, the pink one's mine. We I know. know. But then she got a black one. I know that. She told me that. Okay. I know all of them. She knows everything. Yep. My dad, she's she's down. Down. I'm supposed to know which one is the pig. Because the pig that my mom got is actually, both of them are actually mine. They're both yours. Yes, so my mom owns the the uh, little pink. I own the pink one more, and she owns um the um black one a lot, lot. But I don't own it more than her. That's interesting. But she said you're sharing it. She's sharing. What did you do last night, Scarlett? Uh, I went and saw Top Gun. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I did. And you know, I didn't have the experience. So I think I will go back to the movie. Uh, there's several movies coming out that I want to see. Yeah. And I want to, our theater is nice. Mm -hmm. Y'all, those chairs are so comfortable. Yeah, they really are. And they kind of like lean back like this chair I'm in right now. Um, there's... Uh, really? I don't, I don't know, even know what that means. Um, yeah, they're kind of plush, yeah. They're really nice. You get a really, really big less people in the audience. Yeah, there really wasn't a lot of people. And you pick your seats now. It's been so long yeah, that, that I've been to the movie theater. It's been so long. Yeah, that would be nice. They have one of those in Baton Rouge. We don't we don't have that here. Um so it was a really good movie. It really was. It was a little stressful because, you know, it they're like on a mission and so you're like tense the whole time you know hoping nobody dies um so that was stressful but it was really a baby yeah with uh robert pattinson i wanted to go yeah. see just because you know like that's really interesting that he's you know the yeah, he's 
Really? Mm-hmm. really? You know the big red dog? She fell asleep. Do not watch it. It is so sad. The mom chews with her babies in her garage. Still very graphic, except for uh oh uh, yeah, well Mirage kids came because they kept in front of babysitter, so they were in there for it. But it was really there was nothing bad. There was a, a few power stars, but really other than that it was fine. But in the previews, Jurassic there's a new Jurassic World movie. My husband's a diehard fan. Um, and so our little nephew is like glued to the T V. And so I'm like, I wonder if he'd like it or if it would terrify him. Because if you've ever watched the Jurassic World movies, they're kind of terrifying. Um, I, I'm like, Corey, how did you watch this as a kid and love it? Because, I mean, they be eating people up. Like, the dinosaurs are vicious. So, I wonder if he'd be, like, having nightmares or if he'd think it was great. Um, so, I, I do want to go back and see that. There's the new movie with uh bj novak who is a actor from the office that i would go see because i like him the one that was always uh back and forth with kelly you know he they would like date and then break up and date and break up yeah yeah yeah. yeah. um he is in a new movie not anything like that it's like a basketball movie um and then there's that book, like Where the Crawdads Thing or something. They're making a movie out of that. Um, I'm in the middle of that book. That's the book that I have audio book, and I cannot stand when this girl speaks an accent. Um, so I really need to order the book so I can read it and not have to listen to her. But lots of good movies coming out. Will I make it back to the theater? The jury is still out. You will. I mean, when I was in there, I was like, I have not been in here in at least six years. We like going. This is Jackson loves it. I always have loved it. It's an experience. It is an experience. As soon as the smell of everything's more hyped, over. that loud and that big. Yeah. It's just like more emotion. We went to Sing too. That's the kind of movie where. Yeah. Yeah. There's a new Buzz Lightyear movie coming out. What? Tim Allen is not the boy. Oh, and Lisa Clifford's a bigger doll. Why? Take a walk, Did he? Does he? Is he? Is he canceled? I think no. He's. Oh. I mean, <laughs> kind of. He has been canceled before, but then they brought him back. Um. You know. I mean, because he is classic. Yeah. Like, I don't think he's the most of the whole story either. If anybody knows why, yeah, Sting is good. Sting is very good. Oh, I mean, he's more, he's a conservative. That's why. Yeah. Yeah. That's why he's canceled. All right. Let me see. I need a smaller brush so I can get, um... How dare you say that? Meta. Uh, I wasn't stating a fight. I was stating a fact. They're going to check it. Fact checkers. <laughs> Not putting my opinion out there. I'm just stating some facts. Okay. And somebody saw Top, Amy Copeland saw Top Gun last week, and they're going back again to watch it tonight. Oh, wow. Um, I want to go and watch the first one, but everybody's like, did you watch it? Because it was on Netflix. It got off Netflix May 30th, um, and I have been out of data, so I couldn't watch it. Um, but I don't even know that I care to see it, honestly. Because the older one is like, that was a long time ago. Mm-hmm. 
I, I mean, I was never a Top Gun fan. I feel like Tom Cruise was. I never was. Like maybe in his thirties then, and he he is fifty nine. I googled it after. Um, he does not look like he's fifty nine years old. Pretty. It really was good. And I, I was like not expecting anything. I went solely because I love my husband. Um, it's just not my kind of show. Action movies like that stress me out. I like leave with a headache because I'll be so tense, you know, because you're just waiting on something bad to happen. You know, so we should make a Facebook page where uh, people can post pictures of the items they win and show to everyone. Well, we do have, what do we have? We have our build across tips and tricks. Yes. Um, and that is where we would like you to post that sort of thing. Because it's already got quite a few members in it. And we already have it moderated. If you're not a uh, member of that group, you just got to go find it. Good. And you have to um, agree to the group rules. <laughs> y'all are just hanging out with me? Yeah, I wonder yeah. that thing. He has no idea that we're going live. Like so if y'all are just here to chill. That was the UPS guy just walking in and there's no way he has any idea what we're doing. Yeah. <laughs> That's <laughs> funny. Yeah, that we just be sitting in a circle here. Mm -hmm. Y'all watch me paint. Talking, talking while she paints. I got my camera on. Antenna extender. Ooh. Getting real. No, nah, you're really deep people. Billy, I feel invaded. Now I have to text about you. We felt invaded whenever they started checking our luggage at the airports, but we got it. No, I don't feel invaded by that. I don't feel invaded by that. I, I don't know those people. Uh, who cares? I mean, at least it's pretty far from my office, you know? But you're saying you're going to put like an amplifier on it so you can. I'll put one in your office. So I can just... No, you're not. Is that what that is? It's an amplifier to be able to hear better? Oh, well. This does make good Wi Fi signal better. Okay, sure it is. <laughs> <laughs> Got a microphone. Um, um, yeah, okay, Billy. No. I don't believe you. You're not going to put one in my office. No. Okay, I asked uh, our audience if they enjoy going to the movie there to watch movies. Some people do, some people don't. 100% of the people who participated in the poll said yes. Hey, I agree. I like it. It makes the movie like more dramatic. Let me tell you what I don't like. People who feel the need to comment the entire movie. Uh oh. Did you? Wow. Like just making comments the entire movie. Like, I'm like, what are you doing? And then the worst. People who clap. So last <laughs> night, like at the end of the movie or whatever, y'all are serious. I've never had anybody do that. It's a thing, and it's a thing like when people land airplanes that people clap. Sorry if you're one of those. I still love you. Um, but last night there was like a little group of people. Are you joking? You've never heard of it. It is literally a thing. I do not participate in it. Um, yeah. Well, um, a little group of people tried to clap last night, like at a park towards the end, but it was not the end. Um, that I guess they thought was good. And like the whole theater was not having it. Like that little group of people got shut down real quick because the entire theater was not joining in there clapping. And that was kind of good to me. But yeah, that's, a, your back. that's so funny. That's, that's definitely a thing. Um, People be clapping at the movie theater. Hmm. Not me, but people. There's no reason. No. Well, it's, I mean, if you were clapping for their performance, but they're but not here yeah, to receive the clap, right, right. the applause. I can the players. Right, the interval play, the interval performance, but not. Movie, they're not there to receive it. And I guess people are just excited that they survived the plane ride. Like, you did your job. Yay. I'm like, all right, let's get up. Let's go. Let's get off the plane. We can get to our destination. I love you. 
Um, but to plane, that's never really freaked me out. Now, last night, Corey was like driving, and he's like, I'm going to have to take some melatonin or something because I'm so wired. I feel like I could drive 110 taking these perks, driving me home. And I was like, absolutely not. Uh, and just talking about how he thinks it would be awesome to get into one of like those fighter jets. All I could think about the entire show is that that is terrifying. Like, I have... You know, when I was in the Air Force, I could have just gone and gone. Like, just as a take-up flight. Uh, I was like... I thought about it. It was like, I'm just going to get it. Like, I I passed on that. Absolutely not. And I literally just thought... It was a trainer jet, but it was a jet. Like, the train fighter. Wow. I mean, I kind of have a fear of heights, and like, I don't like outer space type stuff. And the movie starts out with him flying so high into the sky that he's basically in outer space. I know he's not. That freaks me out. Like, I do not like that. They're driving so fast in these jets. It would take nothing for you to just, you know, hit the side of a cliff and die. <laughs> So, uh, no, nothing about that speaks to me. Nothing about that. It's like, yeah, I'd love to do that. It's terrifying. Uh, jumping out of planes is another thing that I passed on an opportunity to do. I'm, I did it all. You said you were in the Air Force? Yeah. And you, that's really interesting. So. Well, these would have been like extracurricular things. But you get training merit for them. But I. I didn't care to do anything that I was going to have to do that as a career. So, uh, why do it? Jumping out of planes does not feel good. No, me either. Um, so, like, but in the Air Force, you still have something to do with flying, but, right? Or not always? Not always. I mean, not even, like, in training? You're not all kind of trained for? Like, at least riding around in a plane, being... I really? Because the Air Force. I literally sat at a desk. Wait, what were you in? Oh, right, Air Force. Because you just said that. Okay. Yeah, I would have thought that you would have been doing. There's a lot of other jobs, like. And I get that there's other people. jobs. I just kind of thought, like, during your Air Force training, everyone got like a basic knowledge of planes and flying. Oh, yeah, yeah, you learn about the planes. But you're not like riding in. No. I mean, no, thank you. <laughs> thank you to those of you that do. No, thank you. Here it is, finished. Beautiful. That was cool, and that's one of those shapes you do a lot for. Did you do that for internet orders? Like at one time, it seems like you did. Our version of it, maybe. No. No, we never did these for internet orders. Hmm. But it is one of our first paint by lines that came out. Um, so that was a fun time when it was the new paint by lines were like that was kind of a new thing. And Kyle worked with me on a lot of them, so a lot of them were tropical. Um, so I've definitely painted it multiple times before, and I've probably painted it to go to Kent. And it will be going again. What do we have going on? Um, this weekend. So you can use Scarlet 30 on Builder Cross, and there is a shipping threshold that is. Uh, for popcorn is fifty dollars. No, no, no. For uh, build across. Build across is uh, seventy five. Okay, and then on pop a light kettle corn, uh, we have a promotion going on where you can qualify to win two free bags. The details and how you need to go about that are on the site. And plus that code, it's not a code, but plus that discount, you can get free shipping over fifty dollars. So check those out. Um, Scrawl at 30 is unlimited and you can use it all the time. It's one of the best coupons. So. All right. Uh, Mary Reeves, you win today. Awesome. Please email us at support at build-a-cross.com. And that is all for today. Thank you guys for watching.